Um, okay, it's right around 8.45 a.m. on Saturday, April 13th, 2024, and maintenance is here to do some work in this bathroom on these holes in the walls. And this is a plaster job from 2018 or 2019 that started crumbling again due to the fact that it was never finished for whatever reason and the plaster has started to crumble due to the moisture. This is a very small shower stall and uh, there's no window in this bathroom. There's also some ceiling, ceiling uh, problems and a very weak ceiling fan. So moisture gets really bad in here and uh, things start to crumble and to deteriorate due to the moisture. The fact that the ceiling fan is very weak um, I tried hanging up some nails here and they went through the wall accidentally because the wall is just really soft. Um, this is a paint job from before I moved in and I moved in in 2011, in July of 2011. These are hanging hardware items that were here when I moved in, presumably for a towel rack, but I never saw the towel rack. So this is the condition of the walls and of the ceiling 13 years later. Um, not a pretty sight right now, and uh, this needs to be done. These holes are pretty bad. And because the landlord never finished the spackle job, the spackle really started to crumble and become damaged due to the moisture, and it just kind of flakes off. I mean, it's it just comes off. At the same time, there's these ceiling tiles that seem to have shifted or gotten moved over due to several storms that we had. They started lifting up and moving around. Uh, one of them broke and I had to just get rid of it all together. It cracked, so it came apart. Probably due to the moisture once again. Um, this is the ceiling light. It doesn't work and it has a very weak fan. And the fan just doesn't do anything to get rid of the moisture in here. Other than that, I've kept the floor in good condition and the sink and the toilet are all original. Those are in good condition, but the area around the shower stall, once again, due to excessive moisture and lack of ventilation, um, and that's not my problem. That's just the way this bathroom is designed. There's just a lot of damage, and uh, the damage has gotten worse over the five years that the speckle job has just been sitting here exposed to the elements. As you can see, the moisture accumulates around the top of the shower stall and has gotten really bad. Also, this because you have to put up a, a rod for a shower curtain here. This part has been damaged because of the shower curtain rod that kind of digs into the wall. And then it starts to just crumble after a while. Okay, so I've just removed the sheet. Uh, so this is the damage to this wall. It's pretty extensive. One of the ceiling tiles broke in half. So that's that's one of them right there. It shifted over, then cracked. Uh, this missing one up there. And unfinished spackle job right there. And when I tried to replace the hooks that were here when I moved in, that started to crumble. Other than that, the floor is in good shape. Um, there's a missing splash guard. So one of the splash guards fell out, it just detached itself. That could be part of the problem with a lot of water getting on the floor when I take showers. So again, this is a missing ceiling panel. It cracked, it was only half of it, and uh, it fell through. Uh, when there's a lot of wind coming through here, the windows are not properly sealed. So the wind literally lifts up these ceiling tiles and they shift over and then they crack and then they fall through. Or sometimes they just fall through and you just have to get rid of them, which is what I did. These are two hanging hooks that were here when I moved in. This is the original paint job that was here when I moved in. They did not paint the bathroom before I moved in. Um, so I had to, because there's no towel rack, I've had to hang up nails to hang towels and stuff like that.
So again, this is a spackling job from 2018 or 2019 that was just never finished. Um, there was some contact information issues with management and I would send emails and they wouldn't get the emails. And then they would say they didn't get the emails. So then I started CCing their attorneys to make sure that they got the emails. Also, they're claiming that I denied entry, but when maintenance suddenly shows up on the wrong day, even though we had an appointment on another day, that's not me denying entry. That's me having to go to work and not being available to be in the unit when the work is done. And they that happened a few times where they're, they got the day wrong or there was some kind of miscommunication. They showed up on days when I had to be at work or when I had prior obligations and I was not available. But if there's an appointment like there is this morning, I do not deny entry. So right now they can come in here. <laughs> But after you can you can come in whenever you want. Yeah, you can come in whenever you want. So whenever you need to get started, it's okay. You can get started whenever you want. <laughs> so that one fell through. It fell through. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, if you need any help, just let me know. I'll be right here. 